As many of you know, last week Bernie Sanders was hospitalized and we now know that he suffered a heart attack. Now, thankfully, he's okay. He was released. We were told that there was a stent that was put in and um, he already is ready to get back on the campaign trail. Now, after he was released from the hospital, the Sanders family put out this video. Hello, everybody. We're in Las Vegas. I just got out of the hospital a few hours ago, and I'm feeling so much better. I just want to thank all of you for the love and warm wishes uh, that you sent to me. Uh, see you soon on the campaign trail. Thank you all so much. It really made a difference. Now, on top of that, reporters saw him and Jane taking a walk, and Bernie had this to say about when he would be getting back on the campaign trail. How are you feeling, Senator? I feel very good. Thank you. When can we see you back on the trail? Ooh. And getting back to work uh, a little bit right now. Uh, but mostly what I'm trying to do is, I used to walk a good uh, distance every day, and I got out of that habit. Uh, I'm trying to get back into it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right? He's going to be okay. Bernie Sanders is going to be okay. Hearing him speak there and assuring us that he's not done, that tells me that we have nothing to be worried about. Now, initially, I didn't make a video about this. I talked about this a little bit on Twitter, but I didn't address this in video form because I just, I wanted to take some time to kind of digest this information. Um, it, it admittedly had me pretty depressed. Like, I was really feeling down. Like, this really affected me personally because even if I knew that Bernie Sanders would be okay, even though it was really nice to see that video that he put up, you know, just knowing that someone who's so kind-hearted, you know, had to deal with a heart attack, how scary that must have been for him and his family, you know, it, it really just had me down. Um, it had me down, so I really felt like there was no sense in me putting out a video because I had nothing to contribute to this conversation. I was feeling the same that everyone else was feeling, you know, that um, I was worried but optimistic and just hoping that he would be okay. But now seeing Bernie Sanders already taking this issue and using it as a means of getting us towards Medicare for All as justification for why we need Medicare for All, because if this was just a normal person in this predicament, they could have died if they didn't have medical insurance. They could have gone bankrupt as a result of this. You know, it shows me that he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And I really wanted to make this video letting people know that this is not something that we need to be worried about. If Bernie Sanders says that he's okay, then believe him, he's okay. Because if somebody is genuinely not able to run or occupy the White House, if they were, you know, uh, physically or mentally incapable of doing that, you would see greater signs of deterioration. And Bernie Sanders, you know, up until this point, has been a beast. He's energetic. He, um, you know, he, he's going to be okay. Now, what I want to emphasize is that even if you're still worried, even if seeing him and hearing me doesn't assure you, let me just say this. We don't get to choose. We don't get to dictate when other people are done fighting. If Bernie Sanders says that he's still in this fight, he's still in this fight. Just because he had a heart attack, that doesn't mean that we get to say he's done. That doesn't mean that reporters get to say, you know what, Bernie Sanders is toast. This is not a death sentence. Having a heart attack does not mean that his life is nearing its end. That's not what that means. Hell, even a death sentence isn't always a death sentence. Uh, back in 2015, my dad was given six months to a year to live. He's still with us. He's not going anywhere. And he lived long enough to get a procedure, I believe it was a stent actually, that uh, prolonged his life, you know, additional years. So the point is, we don't get to dictate when people are done fighting. And I want to stress that. Now, I have no idea this will actually hurt Bernie Sanders politically. It may. I don't know. I don't know. But if you are a Bernie Sanders supporter, understand that if Bernie Sanders tells you he's okay, then we should just accept that and accept that it's good enough. Because I believe him and I can see him. If, you know, he wasn't going to be able to continue this fight, we would, we would see, you know, that maybe he wasn't so sure of the fact that he's ready to continue. But he looks really good. For someone who just had a heart attack, 
He looks really good. Um, so I'm encouraged, but still, even though I knew he would be okay, this really affected me and I just wanted to take some time to like not speak on it, you know, let let me digest the situation, um, not just put out a video where I make you guys feel depressed. And again, it wasn't like I was like, oh God, he's gonna die. You know, I wasn't feeling that way, but you know, sometimes you just have to give things time. And I think that that was, uh, that was important. But nonetheless, politics is politics, right? And we are in an American political climate where politics is as toxic as it can possibly be. So, of course, people are using this as a reason to essentially discount Bernie Sanders. And what's weird to me is that they're not making the argument that I assumed they would make. They're not saying, well, maybe this shows that, you know, he's not in good health. What they're saying is maybe Bernie Sanders isn't qualified because he's dishonest because here's the thing he was admitted um to the hospital and we knew that he had a stent put in they didn't tell us that he had a heart attack until three days later i don't see an issue with that they've been incredibly transparent but you know people within the democratic party for political purposes i'm assuming are saying that's an issue the fact that he wasn't up front the fact that we didn't get minute to minute updates that says something about whether or not we can trust bernie sanders and that is what I find absolutely egregious. So as Holly Otterbein and David Siders of Politico write, it's one of those things where the cover-up is worse than the crime, said Andres Ramirez, a Nevada-based Democratic strategist and former vice chairman of the Democratic National Committee's Hispanic Caucus. I don't think anybody would have cared if they said he had a heart attack, got out a few days later, and then everything's good. Instead, he said there seemed to be a refusal or hesitance to say Bernie Sanders had a heart attack. I think it's less of an issue about his age and more of an issue of, hey, Bernie, you're supposed to be the transparent candidate. It's better to be upfront as you can as quickly as you can, said Karen Finney, a former spokeswoman for Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign, adding that there may have been a medical reason that Sanders' team did not disclose his heart attack earlier, because to some degree it becomes a trust issue. And to that I say these people are absolutely disgusting. Fuck all the way off. There was no cover-up. He wasn't hiding anything. They told you. You had to wait three days to give the family a little bit of time to digest that news. Fuck off. That's what I have to say about that. The fact that this is what they're using, they're trying to flip this into an issue about, oh, maybe we can't really trust Bernie because he's not transparent. It's just, it's egregious. But it's totally unsurprising. Of course, this is what they do. I'm actually surprised that they're not trying to, you know, fearmonger about his health more, but the fact that they're trying to say, well, you know, maybe we should be a little bit uh, iffy about Bernie Sanders and maybe question what else is he not telling us about his health. That's disgusting. That's egregious. You can see him. You can hear him. That's all you need. They told us. That's it. Why do you have to start cooking up these conspiracies about, well, maybe there's other things he's not telling us. That's what they were essentially implying. Why do you have to suggest that he's a liar? They just needed some time. Why is that so difficult for you to comprehend? They needed some time. Maybe they didn't want a million different questions from the press. They're running a campaign. He's a front runner. He's one of three front runners. I mean, I could understand if they needed some time. Like sometimes when you get news that is really scary, you just need time to digest it. I needed time to digest this news and I'm not even in the Sanders family. So for them to say this, it's disrespectful. And you know, I don't know what to say about it. All I know is this. Again, Bernie is going to be okay. Bernie Sanders is going to be okay. And I feel confident in that just by seeing him, okay? And if he wasn't going to be okay, I don't think that he would continue to run this campaign. I think that he believes um, he's going to be fine and he is in this for the long haul. And so long as he assures us that that's the case, then nobody else can really say that Bernie's time is up. You know, that's just talk. You can see him. He has his mental faculties in order. Physically, he can still, you know, he can campaign. And even if he was in a wheelchair, if he said he's still willing to fight, that's up to him. That's not up to me. That's not up to you. That's not up to reporters. So, you know, it's disrespectful for them to suggest that he was being shady here in this situation. Can you just give them maybe a week before you start trying to smear him just a week? Even in this, you know, circumstance, I just, 
I mean, Jesus Christ, these people are absolutely relentless and they don't care. They just want to attack Bernie Sanders because political agenda is, you know, more important than everything else to these people. But, you know, Bernie Sanders, he's going to use this opportunity to explain how, you know what, now I'm going to fight even harder for Medicare for all because guess what? I have health insurance. I can afford this, right? I don't have to worry about getting a medical bill. Others wouldn't be so lucky. So he's going to use this to legitimize himself as a fighter for the people and explain why we need Medicare for all, why we need progressive policies. So I'll leave that there. You know, I was feeling down about this, not necessarily because I thought that, you know, Bernie was in trouble or that this was a death sentence. It's just, you know, it's difficult to uh, to digest bad news about people that we admire and love. Just the fact that he had to worry for a minute that he was in trouble or, you know, that his family had to deal with, you know, him having a heart attack. That's really scary. You know, it's scary. I've been there personally, so I can empathize. And, you know, my thoughts go out to the Sanders family. Bernie Sanders is a fighter, and I have no doubt that he's not going anywhere anytime soon, and he's in this for the long haul, because he cares about the American people, and um, he's not going to stop fighting.